Hey everybody, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. This is the Silent Assassin run, if you better watch out. And I'm using standard equipment, because it's just how I roll. And here we go. So we take off sprinting right out of the gate. We're gonna avoid this uh, cam uh, camera, and we're gonna take this elevator upstairs. We're not even gonna wait for that gentleman behind us to jump in with us, because we're rude. That's the way 47 is. He's a rude asshole. So, uh, this elevator actually can slow you down. Evening, sir. But, uh, let's head here into the kitchen and hopefully that Santa agent won't see us. Pick up the aphrodisiac. Don't you have to bother talking to the, uh, the bartender. And we're gonna sedate this hot dog. So it doesn't kick and scream while we try to put it into our pocket. There we go, and we're gonna run past this agent. He won't like it very much that we're indoors, but we're getting outside, so no big deal. Now let's run back over here and spike this drink before our uh, servant comes and picks back up. Now we're gonna head back outside, and we wanna get into the VIP lounge, but we don't have a heart, so we're gonna have to sneak in the back. And this part here is very critical. We can't slow down even a little bit because if we do, we'll miss this guy. Or we'll have to wait much longer, but as you guys all know, I hate waiting. So we're gonna sneak up behind this guy and push him down the stairs. And he probably broke his neck, but it was for a good cause. Now let's try to get a date. Hey baby, how's it going? Oh, you want me to come close? You want me to come closer? Sure, I'll come really close. And you want to make sure you don't kill this lady, even though she is an assassin set out to kill you. She still, for some reason, counts as a civilian. So if you kill her, that will count as an innocent killed. That doesn't make much sense. Now, to save a little time, I'm actually going to drag this guy into the room with our would-be assassin. Um... First, I didn't do it because I was afraid that I might get caught, but actually, at this point in time, no one's going to be in the hallway, so we don't have anything to worry about as long as we hurry. So, uh, let's keep dragging him over here, taking our time. Ugh, that can't be good for your shoulder. Now, I hope in the new game you can pick people up if you want, you know? Let's stick him over here, and let's take his suit. Now, you know, our suit really is a lot nicer, but... Well... Our suit won't let us get upstairs to where all the action is. Won't let us meet Hugh Hefner. Okay. Is Hugh Hefner dead yet? I don't know. I don't remember. Eh, whatever. So, uh, now we're upstairs. And I think, yes he is, he's going out to his balcony to take a smoke. Let's give his dog a little snack. There we go. I'm, I'm trying to make up for the last video where I filled him full of holes. I hope he doesn't, I hope he's not holding a grudge against me. And we're gonna sneak around here. I'm pretty sure the security guard is allowed in here, but I don't want him to turn around. And, oh, actually, he's out on the balcony already. He walks pretty fast for an old man. So let's shove him over the edge. There we go. One accident and one accident to go. And there you go, buddy. Take a load off. Actually, I think it might be nicer to kill the dog because he's not gonna, he's not gonna have his beloved master around anymore. He's gonna be confused and sad. Now, the the biggest hang-up I have in this mission is definitely this asshole here. That's it. Shrug your shoulders. Um, there's nothing more frustrating than having this guy turn around at the wrong time and see you picking up the tape. So, thank God he didn't see us. So let's head back outside. And no one suspects a thing. So let's, uh, let's head back down into the elevator. Okay. We're not going into the helipad this time, though. We'll be leaving the way we came in. Okay. 
run through here. And we're gonna run back through the waterfall. No one seems to mind us, and we don't get wet somehow. That's awesome. And, uh, let's run over here. And, man, they're still doing sexy time. Well, it's time to break it up, kids. That's it, lady. Alright. I don't really want to follow him staring at his back. Uh, it's really boring. So I'm going to put back on my original suit. There we go. And let's head back here and see how he's doing on his trip down the stairs. And he's made pretty good progress. Oh, he can still sense us behind him, though. He's still looking behind him. And... We are almost there. We're almost done. One last thing to do. And off you go, friend. There we go. Actually, um, someone will see the body on the ice before we exit the level. Now, hopefully that won't cause uh, anyone to panic and start pointing their fingers at us and shooting at us. Because that would ruin everything. So let's run to the elevator. Hopefully we can catch it. Hopefully we won't have to wait for the elevator to come back up. Because that would add about 15-20 seconds to our time. There we go. Nice. That's pretty lucky that we caught the elevator on the up on the up position. It doesn't happen very often. So that worked out pretty well. Now still quite a wait. Doop -doo, doop -doo. There we go. And make sure we don't get seen by the camera, because that, that happened last time. <laughs> I was pretty pissed. And it looks like someone's seen the body, but we're out of here. So no one has time to aggro on us. And here we go. That's it. So, uh, oh, three, three, over three million. No witnesses, two accidents. Silent assassin, six minutes and 50 seconds. Pretty smooth, if I do say so myself. Well, hmm. Very Christmassy setting, so. Alright, awesome. And here's the uh, newspaper once again. Let's take a quick look. The Pink Mansion Adventures. Huh. Was that where we just were, I wonder? I don't, I don't remember. Um, big open space right there. Someone's gonna get fired. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at this guy again. Man, he is one ugly guy. He, I'm starting to think maybe he's that porn meister's son or something. And look at that little douche stash. Well, anyway, that's the silent assassin run of You Better Watch Out. This is Nick Meister. I'll see you next time.